quickly this morning i will speak on a theme of entitled touch not my anointed touch not my anointed hala 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 say touch not my anointed say my neighbor touch not my anointed so quickly this morning we believe you got to go through this section and your life will be blessed and hear me by the ordination in this season even by mere communication of eternal mysteries via his word your life can change so hear me that was peter who was yet speaking the holy ghost fell on them so this morning even whilst i'm speaking grace will fall on you whilst i'm speaking power will fall on you whilst i'm speaking your testimony will fall on you say amen so become alert in the spirit highly motivated and highly, highly sensitized connecting to the flow of grace this morning say amen quickly child of god this morning i'll bring you a few facts a few facts from scriptures to just instruct you on how to carry yourself in this season you must understand that all men are not the same if you're hearing me this morning and you have been told that all men are the same i stand to defile that all that all men are not the same they are not the same one by what they are carrying men are not the same one by what by what they are carrying in the inside of them in Isaiah 60 in Isaiah 60 verse number 22 even Bible said a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation I the Lord will hasten it in in his time God was saying that there are men that if you equal them they are equal to thousand men they are thousand in one man he is saying that a little one though he's little but by the reason of that which is carried in him or or, or in her she do what she can become thousand men in one that of Goyami, men are not the same they are men that are what one in thousand thousand to one man hallelujah in verse 18 verse 22 bible says what that a man named elijah this elijah even appeared and caused a terror in the land of what israel and this elijah one day he said lord i'm the only prophet alive today and obadiah said it's eliza there are thousand more prophets hidden in the cave but we saw here that one man called elijah thousand men what they couldn't do he did it one is two thousand are we here at all so they are men that are what one man thousand hallelujah and here again in numbers 11 16 to 17 even even moses came to god with a petition and he said the burden you have given me is so much a lord i cannot bear it alone and the lord said to moses bring me 70 men bring me 70 men and bring them before me and stand with them and i'll come down and pick the grace of god on your life and put it on them so hear me one man had what the capacity of what of 70 people one man carry what 70 people anointed so hear me all men are not the same see i hear you praise the lord now also understand this that men are in sizes and life is in levels men are what in and what life is what is in levels now in what now hear me men are in sizes and life is in levels this by the reason of what by the reason of times and what and season and all this act can do what can bring what difference in what in a man's life so in the book of what the book of Genesis 3 bible said what there is time and season to everything to everything there's a time and what and a season means that in this season you may be poor but tomorrow you can what you can be rich and it's what it can cause a change and effect amen in job 8 verse number seven he said though my beginning may be small but my end will be great it's what it's a time and a season so though I'm, I'm beginning small but my end may cause a change to my life i'll be great now we have many people that abuse people
people when they were small or in their days of small beginnings and today in their days of plenty those men that what that that more more treated them are what are now slaves hear me watch how you treat people when a man is in what is in his small beginnings he may look like he has nothing he may be what he, he may be a laughing stock but hear me don't take advantage of that season because seasons and times come and go are you here with me now in what in the Gabriel for verse 10 bible said what that don't despite small beginnings so all these three dimensions can do what can cause what a change in a man's life so all men are what are not the same quickly you must understand that the unique factor that sponsors the difference in men is the anointing of god on their lives the unique factor that differentiates or that different men one man from another is what the anointing of God's spirit. Quickly, open the Bible to what to Psalm 105. Psalm 105. Psalm 105, verse number 15. Psalm 105, verse 15. 105, verse 15. Bible says, What that what? That's not my anointed. That's not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm that everybody is allowed kill everybody is allowed disgrace everybody is allowed let everyone see him is allowed but i'm giving you a command a verdict that there are certain people called the anointed don't touch them that's not my anointed child of god first samuel 10 verse 1 quickly now, Bible said what? That and Samuel, then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon the head and kissed his and kissed him and said, It is not because the Lord had anointed thee to be the captain, to be the captain of Israel. Verse 5 and 6. 5 and 6. 5 and 6. Verse 5 and 6. After Naomi, after Samuel place anointing oil upon the head of Samuel upon Saul he said let me tell you the things that will happen to you by what by the reason of touching this oil he said one after thou shalt come to a hill of God where there is a garrison of the Philistines and it shall come to pass when thou art come hither to the city that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high places with a with a satry and a tablet and a pipe and a harp before them and they shall prophesy verse 6 the spirit of the lord will come upon thee and thou shalt prophesy with them and thou shalt be turned unto another man so by the reason of the anointing i'm giving today you shall, when you live here you shall be turned toward another man so the anointing of god's spirit when it comes upon your life you what you will tell about from another man another man first samuel 26 verse number 7 or 9 verse 9 verse 9 and David said to Abisha destroy him not for who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless he said the man is stubborn the man is a wicked man but by the reason of the anointing somewhere placed on his head who am i to touch the lost anointed it means that the lost anointed there is what there is a perpetual decree from heaven upon their lives that don't touch them disease don't touch them death don't touch them disgrace don't touch them satan don't dare them hear me we have men that give satan what sleepless night we have men that satan is what he is busily planning on them for years and he has lost the battle they are the laws anointed this morning i came to, to enlist people 
to enlist people to enter into what this category of what the Lord anointed. I came this morning to even recruit people who will become what the Lord anointed. If you are watching me, being anointed is not as it were for only pastors, for prophets, even for evangelists, but it's for everyone that will come to accept Jesus Christ. You are what you are anointed. Why? You have the Spirit of God that what dwells in your God, you are anointed. But today, many people are afflicted, tormented, bastardized, although they are carrying oil. Hear me, if you are carrying oil and you don't know you are carrying it, you will be cheated. You will be cheated, you will be, you will be, cheated, you will be destroyed, you will, you will be killed for cheap. Hallelujah. Quickly, the anointing. What is the anointing? I'll give you only one definition. Then we go into a different level. Quickly, one. The anointing is the summary expression or the summary reflection of impartation, of ordination and submission. I repeat, the anointing is the summary expression or the summary reflection of impartation, of ordination and submission. It means that when you are anointed, you reflect God. You do what? You reflect God. Some things in your life can be traced to God. It means that when you are anointed by God, there is some things of God operating in your life. Hallelujah. It means that what? You are bringing products that look like God. So in Acts 14 verse 11, Bible said what? When they saw Paul and Silas, and when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of Lyconia, the gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. What this man has done, he's not a man, he's a god. Why? The anointing of God's spirit was reflection. It was what it was having expression in the life of a Paul. So when the, when when we say anointing is the summary expression or the summary reflection of ordination, impartation, and submission to God, it means what indeed this person comes from God. This person belongs to God. There are acts that what that can be what can be only traced to God. Hallelujah. Now quickly. In Psalm 82, verse 6 to 7. He said, and I've said, ye are gods. Say hey. Say hey. And I've said, ye are gods. And all of you are the children of the Messiah. I have said, ye are gods. You are carrying something that's what that's what that is synonymous to God. You are carrying something that can be traced only to God. Ye are gods. Ye on the earth, ye are gods. You are gods. Verse 7 quickly. But ye shall die like men. Though I have said you are you are gods. But if you don't know, you will die like a man. Like, you would like, like a man and fall like what one of the princes. He said, Do I have said your what you are gods, but because of your absence, absence of what of revelation and absence of understanding, though I've said you are God, I said you are a billionaire, a trillionaire, you will never forsake, you are healed. Though I've said it, but you can be afflicted, though you are, if you don't know. So this morning I came to what to bring to your understanding that there are some men among the men called the or the anointed, they are different. And it's open to everybody, not, not to only pastors, to everybody. If you have what some what some pastors, prophet who are what who are not, who are not anointed. It's for everybody that what ye have received the anointing of the Holy One. Ye have received. So it's what already in us. Touch not my anointing. Quickly, let's now come 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 to the the meat, the what, the meat aspect. When 
you say a man is anointed, what is the meaning? Man of God, when we say a man is anointed, what is the meaning? What are we talking about here? Quickly, number one. When we say a man is anointed, we are saying a man who has been separated, who has been isolated, who has been quarantined, and who has been what has been commissioned by the Lord to undertake a diplomatic assignment on behalf of the kingdom of God. When we say a man is anointed, we are saying a man who has been separated, who has been isolated, who has been quarantined and commissioned by the Lord to undertake a diplomatic assignment on behalf of God's kingdom. If you are watching me and all what you do on this earth, there is it's not about God's kingdom. You are not anointed, and you cannot be what be anointed. It is only those who are on, 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 on a diplomatic assignment for God's kingdom. They, 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 they are the only people that are, that are anointed. So if all you do is what is about you, your family, your life, search is off. No, nothing about God's kingdom. Hear me? You are not anointed. You can be touched. You, want, you can be touched for cheap. They will touch you, break you, lose you, tie you, bind you. Though you carry the virtue. Amen. Now hear me? Look for verse 18. Look for verse 18. Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Why? The anointing is upon me. Why? Because he had what anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Jesus was telling the people that I am anointed because I am on what? On a diplomatic assignment. I am sent of God for his kingdom. Some of you, all you know is about yourself. You can't be anointed. Jesus was what? Anointed because of God's kingdom. Praise God. See, I see. He said, I've been sent. I've been sent. What are you doing? Who has sent you? Hmm? You are on this earth. What are you about? What input are you making to God's kingdom? If it's zero, you have zero anointing. That's why you have many that in church they jump, they scream fire, hallelujah, I receive it. Yet every year, a year out, they are what? They are frustrated because their life has nothing to do with God's kingdom. Nothing about God interests them. All what they know is what is selfish interest and selfish motives. Do you want to be anointed? Men who are anointed, they are men separated, isolated, quarantined, and commissioned by God to undertake a diplomatic assignment. And because God has God has sent them, He said, Don't touch them. What don't touch them? Don't, you, you can't try it. Say that devil. Hey, if you see them run, don't touch them. Let me, let me ask you, what has God sent to do for his kingdom? If it is zero you can be touched the devil will be your friend he will massage your brain massage your destiny destroy you that's your destiny but if you are someone that's kingdom conscious though you are an architect but you have kingdom consciousness you are a, you are a lawyer you know what you are a rugged christian if you stand in court after the after the word your case you will evangelize Evangelize. You are a billionaire, up, but in your company, every every afternoon there's what lunchtime prayer. There's what lunchtime prayer. By force you pray. You bring what pastors to preach in your what in your what your company. You are on what, a kingdom assignment for you. You can be touched. But if there's someone that what all you know is what about earthly, worldly, earthly, worldly. One day, the devil is jamming for you. You can be touched. 
you can be touched. You can be touched. But the men that God said, touch not my anointed, there are people gazetted, licensed on behalf of God's kingdom to undertake a certain project. Go to the book of Exodus, Exodus 3. Exodus 3. Kalabaya Talaba. This God with Moses, he said, Moses, come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou may bring forth my people out of Israel, Egypt. Moses, come, let me send you. You are on a diplomatic assignment and you can't be touched. That time, no one can appear before Pharaoh and leave. You will die. You will die because the only God they know is Pharaoh. Highly powerful. No nation can stand them. But Moses walked majestically, appeared before Pharaoh, dared him, tormented Pharaoh and the whole Egypt, and left untouched. No one touched him. Why? Touch not my anointed. He was what? He was on the assignment of God. He dared them. Pharaoh kill his firstborn, walk out free. Walk out free, kill his firstborn, and even uh, the animals that never what never, never, never did anything wrong. He killed their firstborns. Torme- a whole nation a stand still, one man tormented them more. Let's talk. He humiliated them. He finished, he left. Even even to, to, to even abuse them on top. All the gold they had. He can say that God is saying that tomorrow, as we are leaving, go to what? Go to the loss of what? The loss of what? The Egyptians. Go and take it. Let's go. That's the kind of audacity that was available for the touch of Moses. Why? He was on the assignment of God. A diplomatic God assignment. Hear me? In Ghana here, I've, I've, I've said this already. In Ghana here, we have, we have, we have several what? Several Americans. You can kill them and nothing will happen. But the ambassador of US to Ghana, if he starts, no explanation. There's war between what? War between US and Ghana. Why? They are on diplomatic assignment. They be here. Helps what? Helps the American government. They are sent on a mission. So if all you know. What you know is bread and butter. It's me, 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 me. Brother, your life is in danger. Because Satan don't respect me. He respect who sent you. Hear me, one man, one man was in a plane, business class. And he saw what? A dog. A what? A dog in the business class. And he was angry. He called the what the air hostess. Hey, pick this dog to the dog's corner. <laughs> then the air hostess replied, "Brother, it's not it's not what it's not about the dog. It's about whose dog? About what whose dog? Say, watch there. That's a billionaire. That's what a billionaire. That's his dog. He paid for a what ticket for what for the dog." Who are what sitting at economy highly packed like, what, like sardines? A dog was comfortably in what in a, what, a jacuzzi having fun. Dog men, where, where are the economy? It's not <laughs> this a dog. Whose dog? Whose dog are you? Who has sent you? Who has sent you? Malaya Kadaka, don't touch them. Hey, brother, don't touch that dog. Don't touch it. Who has sent you? If you're watching today and, and, and you don't have nothing doing for God's kingdom, his church, you have nothing to do to advance God's kingdom, God's church. Hear me, you are not anointed. Men sent to be a blessing to God's kingdom, they are those that God is saying, Don't touch them, touch not my anointed, don't, don't, don't touch them. They are peculiar people. They are what? Peculiar people. They are dangerous. You touch them, you touch me. 
you touch them and come after you. That's a man, eh? Satali. Satan himself, if you bribe him, he won't touch them. You bribe Satan, he won't touch them. See neighbor, I am a touch not material. Clap for Jesus right now. Praise God. Number two, when we say a man is anointed, what do you mean? Number two, these are men operating with immortality, with eternity, with divinity, and heavenly immunity that makes them indestructible in the community of the wicked. I repeat, when we say a man is anointed, he's a man that operates with what? Immortality, with eternity, with what? With divinity and heavenly immunity that makes him what? Indestructible in the community of the wicked. Meaning, when a man is in the midst of, of, of battle, midst of shame, midst of death, yet he's not touched, he's anointed. He's what? Anointed. Immortality in expression, divinity in expression, eternity in expression, all in one man. And by, by the immortality expressed in him, he's what? Indestructible. Or what is immune to enemic attacks. Quickly, in Psalm 23, verse 4, David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of dead, yet I will fear no evil. In the community of death, I, David, I am indestructible. It, it does nothing to me. Why? I am anointed. God is with me. So in the community of the wicked, where everyone is dying, where everyone is struggling, when a man is in the midst of that community and not affected, he's what? Anointed. Although surrounded, but can be arrested. They are men who are anointed. Men you put what? Men you fry. Now, a man called John, John the, 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 the Revelator, he was kept in what? In, in, in oil, fried, he didn't die. Indestructible. Men like Shrek and what? And Abednego and Meshach, kept in what? In the fenning furnace. Never destroyed. They were indestructible. There was an expression of immortality, of divinity, of eternity, and heavenly immunity in them that makes them what? Indestructible in the community, in the ambience of wickedness. That behold, the whole world has what lies in wickedness. But there are men, though they are in a wicked world, they are comfort, they are what? very comfortable. A man like God, like Daniel, in the lion's den, he was asleep. How do I know? The king called him more than once. That at dawn, the king came, couldn't sleep. He said, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel said, Yes, Lord, my king, I was asleep. What? In the community of what? Of lions, a man was sleeping, indestructible, anointed. Indestructible. The anointing of God's spirit, when it comes upon a man, is what? Indestructible. You can destroy him. No matter the wickedness of the wicked. You can't destroy him. I'm telling you, see Christ our Lord. Several attempts to kill him was impossible, indestructible. This morning, do you want to be what to, to become indestructible? Carry anointing. Carry anointing. Touch not. Don't touch them because if you touch them, it won't work. David, three thousand men with the master planner of battles called Ahitophel went after him and all of them were killed. 3,000 men, one man. Indestructible. So go angry. What he go angry? He sent soldiers. Now go and kill him. And then he was what? Was with, with, with Samuel. And the first group went. When they met them, they what? They got what? To prophesy. 
sent another badge. They go and kill them. Samuel and what? And they kill them. When they got there, the ambience in that location, now that location, what reacted on them? What happened? They went, Kalabashan, Talaba, they all fell down. And he himself came. He said, Now, if you, you, you are useless soldiers, you are useless. I saw I'm a soldier man. I will kill Samuel and David. When he got there, when he saw them, hey, hey, that so prophesied the word, prophesied and what that was naked. Shelima Kabaraga, who is he said, Kalu Ede, Palua, yay, Kala, his word, Shabaraba, Kalibalaga, yes, Shabababa. Hey, after today, it's your story, it's your story, it's your story. The Amrobes will come in the community of Amrobes, they see you. You say, hey, you say, Jakata Kata, yes, sir. Let's do what to escort you home, sir. Let's go, sir. It's a certain dimension, the anointing of God's spirit. That's not my anointed. This morning, I pray for somebody that may the answer of the Father may it come upon you. Indestructibility. The sponsor is the anointing of God's spirit. I don't know. I don't know any Aroma in this world can meet me face to face and say, Pastor, bring your, your money. Is Pastor, I'm giving my life to Jesus. Or Pastor, please kill me, sir. It is impossible. If you don't know who you are and what you are carrying, it means you have nothing. Go again to what? To Psalm 89, verse 20. Psalm 89, verse 20. That was. I have found my servant Joseph. With the holy oil have I anointed him. Let's see the effect. 21. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. Mm. Okay, 22. The enemy, demons, the enemy shall not exert upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. There's a man I have found and I have anointed, I have anointed. and because of that anointing, wicked men can come close to him. The enemy can touch him. He is what? Indestructible. Though he's staying with them, they can't touch him. You can imagine a young boy called David sitting before Saul, who had planned that today he will kill him. So was what so was what he was a master soldier per excellence. He's what he is what he is a, a sniper per, per, per excellence. That and David sat close to him and he took his javelin. Is what javelin. Imagine a man that a man that's what a sniper can stand afar and, and with a javelin kill, kill people. Now this man now had what had close closest range to David. And David was what was unaware. He was eyes, eyes are closed, playing the whole the keyboard. Mosum no deja we are deja mosumu eradi playing the keyboard like that one prem pensua odie a dream with eyes closed yet that was you missy them in kavu minami missy day yes your eyes close. Missy Diamond can go. Me na me, Missy Diamond. Yeah, do na me. Your eyes close. Missy Diamond can go. And what? Saul's what? He was busy in Mesle. And in his mind, I'm done. He's dead. And as he threw it, certain ambience. Missy Diamond can go. Me na me, Missy Diamond. His head just shook. That one, the javelin. Some men, you can't destroy them. Hear me, if you do not 
lost that 18, you can't destroy it. Some men are what they are indestructible, but they are anointing. This is a scripture that the enemy shall not, it shall not, is a commandment, a verdict. Hear me. If you know how the devil has planned, hey, you, you get the close shot. Oh, this guy, today, today I, I'm done. Hey, jubilates. They as they are jubilating to end in tears. The, word, the guy will escape. Hear me, Siniba. I am a survivor. A survivor. A survivor. Hey, in the midst of battle, hear me, I'm what? A survivor. Thousand soldiers untouchable. A man called Elijah. Fifty special forces with their captain, with snipers on mountains on trees. One man being targeted called Elijah. He says, "Sir, come down here." He says, "What?" He says, "Come down." He says, "Fire! If I be a man of God." Though you are 50, I'm only one. Fire! They will roasted for cheap. Some men are indestructible. Say I'm one. I'm one. I'm one. Say I'm one. Say I'm one. Say I am indestructible. Say, say, say you can't destroy me. You touch me by mistake. I kill you by correction. Clap now. Sabalagadu Sabatalias. Go to Psalm 2. Psalm 2, verse 1 to 3. Quickly. Psalm 2, verse 1 to 3. Why do the hidden range and the people imagine a vain thing? <laughs> verse 2. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing. <laughs> Anytime you conspire against an anointed man or woman, is what? Against God. What is it? Say what? Against the Lord and his anointed. Saying, three. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. Let us destroy them. Let us kill the anointed. Let us destroy him. Verse 4. Listen. He that stood in heavens, that's God. He shall laugh. You know what? He shall laugh. Ah, ah, these people who you won't kill. Now, my son, my daughter, he'll be laughing. God, hear me. Nothing makes God to laugh. This is a reason. God don't love who doesn't love. But the only time he loves is when people are playing this word. He's anointed. He's laughing. Like killer. <laughs> Say hey! Laya Kadaba has. He does that in the heavens are love. The Lord shall have them in direction. Hear me. Men operating with the immortality, with eternity, divinity, and heavenly immunity. In the community of the wicked men, they are indestructible. This is the reason. God himself, when he hear that the devil, demons, human agents are playing against them, he's laughing. He's laughing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Kabayata. Clap for Jesus right now. Imagine being in a car. And the and, and what? Satan himself is what is, is on the road. Say so today, this car, I will scatter it. I will somersault it. Then heaven, they are laughing. Then he'll be there and the car will, and the car is gone. He's there for the whole day. Where's the car? Say, ah, boss, the car don't pass. <laughs> Say, what? Where you pass? Say, you don't pass. It, it, it don't pass. It don't pass. Sir, there are some men. They are what? Indestructible. And hear me. Humbly to speak in Amod. 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 I'm one of them. And you can be one today. Amen. 
you can, you can be one today in this table which devil is permitted to make you feel sick which devil which demon which witch Gadi Alada number three number three I'll end, I'll end with four number three when you say a man is anointed who you see number three these are men who have become weapons apparatus divine accoutrement armament arteries in the hand of God for instilling peace order and tranquility in a given location when men become what when men become weapons or apparatus or armaments or accoutrement in the hands of God in the hands of God to be used to instill peace order and tranquility in a given location when a man is anointed he's a weapon he is an intercontinental ballistic missile in the hand of Jehovah that will be used to scatter any confusion of the enemy if a man is anointed his word he is a weapon he is a battle axe in the hand of Jehovah quickly the book of the book of Jeremiah 51 51 verse 20 Jeremiah 51 verse 20 I read thou art my battle axe and weapons of war for with thee I will break in pieces the nations and with thee I will destroy kingdoms you are my battle axe and my weapon any man or woman carried an anointing on his head his word he is a battle axe he is a weapon an interballistic missile he is what he is a bomb a grenade he can explode anywhere at any time to bring peace order and tranquility men like elijah god sent him as what as a web as what a weapon to uproot the kingdom of jezebel he killed he killed bad prophet he cut off their heads he was a what a weapon in the hand of god when we say a man is anointed we are seeing what a man who is what who has become what a weapon in the hand of god a man who god has picked as a, 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 a weapon against what against poverty that when he anywhere he enters and it's his poverty you do what he will chase it out say i'm here don't you know poverty out god wants to raise men, men like that the men that when men that men that when god sent them to a location and children are what are helpless orphans are what are what are, are, are being what sponsored giving what the best of education for free men that will give what free health care men that in sudan mali and those places where the the, the strange famine and poverty go to send men who will appear as what as web, uh, weapons to what to torment and bastardize what poverty weapon when you are anointed you are a weapon in the hand of god Jeremiah, he said, You are anointed. And you know why? He said, No. He said, What? You are my battle axe and my weapon. And with you, I will break in pieces the nation. Say, Oh, my father. Say, Oh, my father. Make me a weapon. Make me a weapon in your hands. Make me a weapon and use me to instill peace, order, and tranquility. Some of you know families, God must send such men. The family has been in bondage for too long. God must send you as a, as what, as a weapon. As what? A weapon. Cutting, destroying, breaking 
breaking orders, breaking the whole of the enemy in the family. There are men like that. Jezebel was what was what was a threat to Israel and to God. He said, I want a man. He says, Sam, he says, Elijah, come here. Go and what? scatter his prophets. It's, it's, it's what his kingdom scatter it. He went, scattered it. Fire consume everything, sir. That's the God we are serving. Say neighbor. Say hala. Say neighbor. Say I'm a weapon. Say I'm a weapon. Say I'm a weapon. I'm a weapon. Clap for Jesus right now. <laughs> lastly, lastly, and we are and we are done. The, the fourth meaning of what a man being what being anointed. How we say a man is anointed? Fourth point, we are saying a man whose culture has been invaded by the supernatural, thereby making the supernatural his natural. When we say a man is anointed, we are saying a man whose culture has been invaded by the supernatural, thereby making the supernatural his natural. Go to go to Second Corinthians 12 verse 2. 12 verse 2. This is Paul speaking. Paul said, I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. Whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knew it. Such and one got up to the dead heavens. I know a man over 40 years ago, but whether it's in the spirit or in the flesh, I don't know. I don't know because I was caught to the third heavens, so I couldn't differentiate when I'm out of that place or when I'm in the place. The supernatural became a natural. I don't know which one to which. I know a man oh, for 14 years, but I don't know, I don't remember. Whether I saw him in heaven or on the earth, I can't remember. Because I have, I mean, now, my life now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's heaven, 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 heaven. I don't know where I met the man. Can you imagine that? The invasion of the supernatural on the culture of a man, thereby making the natural of the man the supernatural. You say anointed man or woman. That's to est- what to understand what we, are, what we are talking about. This morning, you have heard so many things. It's now time to, to choose the word to allow God to what anoint you or not. It's your own problem. Now I've taught you, given you the meaning and the content of a man who is anointed do you want it or not is your problem but for me i am a house i am my house i am a house is either anointing or we die or do or we die is either i am anointed or i die there's no choice there's no option in this matter but to you you can choose Maybe you can leave that anointing. It's nice for you. But for me, it's better I die, go to heaven, than to stay on earth here and allow Satan molest my children. Both is kind of what? And what? Spiritual children. That you see somebody dying and you, are, you can't do anything. You're just watching. A person is dying. You're watching. Where? You, when? If you were anointed, you could arrest that devil. He said, check out. I don't know if you agree but this morning I, i've made a decision years ago that i must be anointed and shall be anointed and it's anointed there's no option in this matter sister you can carry an anointing the things you are running for can what they can run after you hear me i've never prayed once when i notice who i am in christ I've never prayed once for money. I'm telling you, 
this church now we can ask all the all, all the the guys around we, we are not prayed for whether god please give the church money before it's too small to be our prayer point he anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over overflow is the order of anointed men things flow to them things run to them things chase them goodness and mercies shall follow me all the days but the reason of the oil on my head this morning i don't know about you but hear me you can become anybody and carry anointing a banker still anointed lawyer anointed position anointed what do you become hmm? you can be a professor yet anointed can be what an inspector yet what anointed are you at all be on your feet Kalabaya. this is the first sunday in october if there's something you must cry out today for is the anointing of the spirit of god is either anointing hit me or i die i don't know about you i don't know about you but anywhere you are this morning you can be anointed anywhere you are this morning strange grace can come on your life Jesus. you can make the supernatural your natural lift up your voice this morning just blast out in tongues just blast out in tongues and cry out loud that father anoint my head with oil anoint my head with oil anoint my head with oil what can make you unique in that which god has called you to hear me there what there may be several businessmen and women but anointing can make you stand out there be several lawyers yet by anointing we know paul all his classmates not needed not noticed <coughs> look the apostle was what a physician a doctor mercy to me is what his his classmates his classmates what, what are they not notice the anointing i don't know that which god has called you to do there is an anointing for that thing is it 
business, there's what I'm ministry, there's what anointing for it. Everything God, you know, God has called you to do, lawyer, but there's what there's anointing for it. We have several lawyers, but what we know, we know what few words anointing can make you stand out. You pray right now with where you are going in view. With who you become in view, the Lord let the anointing. If let's say you, you, are, you are in business, say Lord, let the anointing that will make me stand out in business, let it come upon me. If it's in ministry, Lord, let the anointing in ministry that make me stand out come upon me. Pray right now. That which God has called you to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. to be touched by the devil. Don't want your children, your husband, your wife, your business, your ministry to be touched by the devil, be anointed. Because that restriction is only to those anointed. Kaba Satata. I came this month to recruit men, to enlist men in this place of calling. Banama Kabanama Asa. 
come on. Receive it now, anywhere you are. Receive it now, anywhere you are. Kala Masa. Receive grace. Masa. Be anointed now. May the anointing of God's spirit locate you now. Mata Bakusa Paradias. Avunia Sa, La Tua Maha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's pouring. It's pouring now. It's pouring down. It's pouring down. It's pouring down on you right now. God is anointing you now. Hey, Maradadia Satalabaya. It's either anointing or nothing. Bama Makata. Receive grace now. Receive the anointing of God's spirit. Makadaba Vutu Basa. Anywhere you are, receive it now. For ministry, for business. For career, for marriage, Banamaka, receive, 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 power, receive. Yes, Lord. I see the heavens open. I see an outpouring. Anywhere you are, notwithstanding, I see an outpouring. Right there in your homes, in your homes, right there. Receive it now. Right there in your homes. Where you are. Receive it now. Jesus name. Power of God. Jesus. Salamatu Sabaha. Thank you, Father. That the reason of the action this morning. You are watching me and you are sick. I repeat that this is now. Amen. By the Spirit of God. That by the anointing, every yoke will be broken. Every yoke on your life and in your life. By the anointing this morning, I decree it terminated. Amen. It is terminated. Amen. That yoke of infirmities, of diseases, Jesus. of shame, Jesus. poverty, Jesus. attacks, I decree now. It's broken. Amen. It's broken. Amen. Anything that you touch by the oil, may it prosper. Amen. May it prosper. Amen. May it prosper. Amen. May it prosper. Amen. Amen. The name of Jesus. Jesus. I decree now to your life, you are blessed Jesus. by the oil. You are sealed. In Jesus' name. Be seated and clap your hands.